Hello and welcome back. Uh, this is Greg French. Uh, today I want to talk about paste bin. Uh, paste bin is a very uh, helpful utility. It'll save uh, any of your programs to the cloud and that way you could recall them at any time on another computer or in another location and you can download all your programs and run them on the turtle without having to uh, put those back in by hand. Uh, let's get started. Okay, paste bin. Uh, to get started you want to go down to your start menu and uh, go ahead and enter percent app data app d a t a percent sign this will call up um, the uh, programs or folders uh, where your where minecraft is located you want to go into the minecraft folder and then go into the config folder find computercraft and open it up uh, once computercraft opens up you'll find a config file and you want to come down to where it says enable http api on computers and then B enable API. It's the HTTP equals false. You want to change that false to true. And then go ahead and save this file and then restart Minecraft. And when you restart Minecraft, you should be able to uh, access the paste bin command. Now here I've got my turtle. Uh, where I kind of left, left off last time. I'm going to go ahead and click on the right click on the turtle. Uh, type in paste bin. Uh, you can see that the command now activates since I've got that HTTP set to true. And here's the usages for paste bin. We could put paste bin put and then the file name. When you enter that and click on enter, you'll get back the code. And then the code you can use to go paste bin get to get that file, use the code, and then the name of the file. So you need to write the code down and then just remember the file name. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, see if my program is still in here. Edit forward. Uh, this is the program I wrote uh, as a demo program. The function is uh, function frwd, uh, open and close parentheses. Uh, while not turtle forward, we're going to do uh, turtle dig. And this is if the turtle is moving forward and runs into a block or some impediment, it's going to go ahead and start the turtle dig because this while not turtle forward do. So if it's not moving forward, it'll jump to the turtle dig. And once it finishes digging, it'll end uh, that particular uh, loop, while loop, and then end the function. Now the main program is down here. I'm using the for statement, which is a looping statement, and i equals one through five. So it's going to do this five times. It's going to call this uh, function frwd, which is the function up here that I wrote. So I'm going to go ahead and exit this, and I'm going to type in paste bin, and this time I'm going to put and I'm going to put my uh, program into the cloud. Press enter. It's going to connect uh, to the cloud and you can see it was successful. It uploaded it and now here is the uh, code that you need to enter anytime you want to run this program. So the code is KE these are capitals and then lowercase g, lowercase p, m, i, looks like h, B. Let's see if I wrote that down correctly. K E G P M I H B. So now all I need to do is use that code and I can download this. Uh, it says anywhere. And that's correct. So I'm going to go back to my turtle. I'm going to uh, go ahead and delete the turtle. Go ahead and destroy it. I'm going to put a new turtle in its place. And I'm going to right click that and uh, see if I can find my program. Edit forward and you can see the program is not here so I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, exit this and run paste bin paste bin and this time I'm going to run paste bin git I'm going to put in that code k e g p m i h b and the name of my program which was forward and enter that and see if I can get my program. Connection to the paste bin was successful and it downloaded the program. So now if I type in edit forward, you can see my program is back. Super, super important. So when you write really large programs, you want to be able to save them and then use them later in another game or on another computer. So now I can go ahead and run that pro program anytime I want. So that's just the demo and example of using paste bin Again, a very powerful and a very important feature uh, to use uh, when you're doing these turtle programming.
So that's it for now. Uh, next time we'll have some more uh, functions that we'll write uh, to extend uh, this turtle forward program so we can actually turn it into a turtle tunneling program. That's it for now. Thank you very much for your time.